William Ruto is genius, his plans to unite Africa are working. Nobody thought they will work but see. He is truly the new Gaddafi of Africa, as they have named him. Ruto's ruthless campaign against the financial global architecture, has received support from key African leaders. The United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres is one of the leaders who have joined in terming the financial architecture at World Bank as outdated, useless and out of touch with African needs. The African Development Bank AFDB, President Akinwumi has also asked for the new financial system. President Ruto has ignited a storm and is also campaigning against the dominance of the dollar in Africa. Ruto's most recent strategy against the dollar has changed the way Africa will deal with world powers moving forward. The president recently encouraged world leaders to listen to Africa, and cease the freebies business while he was in France. The strongest evidence that Africa is actually on the rise is the fact that important foreign leaders are paying attention to Ruto. Ruto has cautioned that if the World Bank, IMF, and other international forces continue to abuse and insult Africa by punishing measures, the conversation surrounding them would be nasty. The question you might be asking yourselves is that, will all African presidents come to one agreement and join hand with William Ruto? And if the will do so, who will lead us? It's not a long story, please let me explain. My name is Antita Brandon and welcome back to Teens Republic, the life to life educative channel, before we continue please subscribe to this channel. We promise you will have the best videos for you to watch and learn. Kenyan President William Ruto has thrown another stone to the Western superpowers which might lead Africa's economy to the supreme over the Western economies. In his speeches, President Ruto has been seen encouraging Africans to improve trade relations among African nations. Talking about the intra-African trade, President Ruto is saying that European countries have the freedom to trade within the continent without facing border hindrances while African states' borders have interfered a lot with the trade of and within the continent. President Ruto asked his colleagues that why should we Africans suffer by our creations? He said that Africa should abolish its borders in matters intra-African trade to ease trading amongst the states of Africa. In his speech, he said that Africa's economy only contributes 18% as compared to other Western countries that contribute up to 70% due to the increased freedom policies. Africa as a continent should contribute the highest to the world economy due to its raw materials, rich minerals, and policies that would allow free trade amongst nations within the continent. On my opinion. The biggest problem Africa is facing is that it is divined in accordance to its geographical layout and the past colonial master rule, French, English and Portuguese speaking countries, and will never stand united as members of the African Union, AU. If all African countries as members of AU formulate policies and speak with one voice that can bring a big change at its state of affairs and can protect the flight of African wealth in general, this in the end can be a game changer. Unfortunately African governments are all members of the IMF which made using gold almost illegal. Thus reducing said nations into the poor house holding out for fiat money loans with a begging bowl. The irony of this is too much to believe. I don't know what you think about this. Please leave us your thoughts on the comment section below.